Hello, I'm Lauren Key. I'm a SharePoint engineer and also a qualified teacher of 12 years. And today you're in for a treat because recently I've been getting creative with SharePoint and from that I'm going to be teaching you how to create a jigsaw from a hero web part just like the one displayed here. Now from past experience I found it's quite difficult to find multiple images to fulfill the hero web part that are displayed at high quality. However, by taking one attractive image, cutting it into segments, you can bring focus and huge visual, visual interest to your page and your site. To begin with, you will need to create a cutting template for your jigsaw. This can be done using photo editing software so today I'm going to be showing you how you can do this using um, basic tools such as PowerPoint. To build this template I had to do a bit of research. From Microsoft documentation I know that the tile layout within the hero web part is scaled to follow an aspect ratio of 8.3. That's a width of 8 and a height of 3. And the images within the hero web part are scaled to an aspect of 4.3. You can find aspect ratio calculators online or most photo editing tools will help you do, uh, create those dimensions. Do note though that because the hero web part is responsive there is no specific height or width in pixels that will ensure your image will maintain a specific shape across devices and the layouts. For example, on a smartphone, the hero web part displays as a carousel. So I really recommend you choose an image where each puzzle piece is visually effective in its own right. Landscapes and cityscapes are really ideal for this. So once you've created your template, you're gonna insert your image, you're gonna insert, Pictures, this device, select your image, insert. You're going to scale it up so that it fits. Go to the down arrow and we want to send it back behind our cutting template. As you can see now, we are able to see our cutting template in front of our image. I'm just going to make this slightly smaller, that's better, and I'm going to move the image to how I want it to be shown on the hero web part. As this is a graffiti image rather than a photo, I really want to capture the lady in the image with her spray can to show that it's a graffiti image. So I quite like it there, I'm going to keep it there. We go to the snipping tool, new, go to the corner of your first puzzle piece, okay and take it right to the border but not including the lines. Lovely. File, save as. We've got to save it somewhere. Okay, as you can see, I've already saved some images within this graffiti image. Um, I highly recommend that you number your jigsaw puzzle pieces. That way it'll be much easier when you build your puzzle together at the end in SharePoint. So my first one, I've numbered one, two, three, four, and five, okay? Now, once you have all of your puzzle pieces cut and saved, you're going to go to SharePoint. You're going to go edit, add the hero web part, okay, in the pencil you need to select which layout you wish your tiles to be. As a reminder we selected the five tiles hero web part, okay, I've also got templates there for if I wish to choose one to four. 
So we've selected five on the first puzzle piece. We select the link, go to site. I've got a folder called site assets and I've also got a folder called images. Okay, you need to select your images okay okay and you need to drop and drag them into SharePoint I've already done this so I'm going to go straight away to select number one open that and let's carry on and do that for the remaining images Number two. Can be a little bit time consuming when opening up each image, but it's really worth it at the end once you see the overall image come together. Okay, last bit. And our final image. Number five. There you have it. So what you can go in and do now oops, is go to the pencil and edit each individual title. that we don't want a capital in there uh, I don't want learn more so I'm going to turn that off and I'm just going to do the same for my other jigsaw puzzle pieces I'm going to do policies this one's going to be customers this one's going to be marketing Obviously, you'll need to go and set the links for your hero web part, but I'm, I've got another video of that if you wish to see it. And there you have it. So you've created an attractive hero web part that showcases one image across the banner, which makes a huge impression to your site and your page. Before I go, I just want to show you some examples of the other web hero web parts that I've created. So there is the uh, graffiti eyes that we've created in the demonstration. I've got an architecture image here that's using the one tile hero web part. Here is another graffiti kind of pop arty um, hero web part. I've used the two tile layout. This is a business corporate hero web part, again using the two tile layout, but I quite like this one because it's in black and white. Earlier I said landscapes and cityscapes are good. Here is a cityscape using the three tile web part. I've incorporated animals here, again with a black and white theme. And this is the four tile web part. Another landscape there, again for towel, and going back to the one we showed in our demo is our five tile web part. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.